This is a video about coming to the Freeman Hospital for an operation. Hi, my name is Isaac. This is me and my dad coming into the hospital. We go to Ward 23. This is where I'll stay before my operation. I have bought a suitcase with all the things I will need in it. We meet some staff who work there. This is Hayley. She's a staff nurse who will be looking after me today. She shows me where my bed is, where I will be staying while I am on the ward. Hayley shows me where everything is. There's a TV next to my bed. Hayley makes me feel really welcome. She tells me about other people I will meet today and who are going to help to look after me. I start having my checks before my operation. First, I check my height and weight. Next, Hayley checks my name, date of birth, address, and my dad's phone number and who lives at my house. She gives me a wristband to wear, and this has my name and birthday on it. Hayley checks my heart rate and oxygen saturations using the little red light she puts on my finger for a minute. Next, Hayley checks my blood pressure, and she checks my temperature. Hayley tells me that I cannot eat or drink before my operation today. This is called nil by mouth. My parents were told this when we were in clinic. I made sure I had my favourite tea last night. Next, one of the anaesthetic doctors, Cosmo, comes to talk to me and my dad. He explains how he will give the medicine so that I am in my special sleep for my operation and that I won't feel anything. Me, my dad and Cosmo talk about which special sleep medicine I would prefer. I choose to have the medicine that goes into my hand using a small tube. Some people have medicine that they breathe in using a mask. Cosmo checks that we have filled in our consent form. The surgeon is the person who does my operation. My surgeon is Louise Kenny. I need to have some blood done before I can go to the theatre to make sure everything is okay. Hayley puts some special cream on me so that I don't feel the needle as much. It has to go on a little while before I'm going to have my blood done to work properly. It looks a little bit like toothpaste and I have a special clear plaster to put over the top to make sure it stays on. Hayley tells me that the bloods don't take long and the most important thing is to keep still and try to think of something else if I can. My dad comes with me to have my bloods taken. The cream has been on long enough and makes the skin on my hands feel numb. My dad and I talk about what video game I'd like to play afterwards to take my mind off it. The doctor explains what he is doing when he does my bloods. It was over before I knew it. Amy, one of the family centred care team from theatres, comes to see me and my dad. Amy talks to us about what is going to happen when I go to the theatre to have my operation, what I will see and the people I will meet. She tells me that she will be there and will be able to answer any questions to help me and my dad. Amy gives me a toy bear called Baggins to keep me company. He is dressed in scrubs, which is what the doctors and nurses in theatre wear. Amy tells my dad that he will have to put scrubs or a green gown on too. I think he will look funny. After me and my dad have met Amy and seen the doctors, I get to have some free time to play in the playroom on Ward 23. I play the video game with Sophie, one of the play specialists. Hayley tells me that I need to have a shower using a special walk called Octenisan. Afterwards, I put a clean gown on ready for my operation. The gown opens at the back, like you have to put a, your coat on back to front. While I am waiting, I have some medicine called a pre-med that the doctor has prescribed for me. It makes me feel, feel relaxed before my operation. Not everyone has this medicine. Children and parents talk with the doctor and decide if they are going to have it. It tastes a bit funny, but it's only a little bit, so it's not too bad. Now I am waiting for someone to come and collect me to go to theatre to have my operation. This is Mick. He is here to take me upstairs to theatres as I have had a pre-med. I have to go on the trolley. Some children decide that they would prefer to walk if they have not had a pre-med. We go up in the lift to the theatres. I am going for my operation through the theatre's reception and entrance doors. We go into theatre reception with my dad. I have got Baggins there with me. We meet a nurse called Chris. Me and my dad are asked some questions to check who I am. 
Chris asks my name and date of birth and checks that everything is right on my wristband. He asks us when I last had anything to eat or drink or if I'm allergic to anything. He checks the consent form. Then they give my dad some special clothes called scrubs. These have been washed in a very special way to make sure they are really clean for when we go into theatre. When my dad gets back, I say goodbye to Hayley and Sophie. As I go down the corridor on the bed, Amy talks to me about some of the equipment and computers that are in the corridor. We play a game of who can spot the sunshine sticker first. I spot it above the palm tree just before we go into theatre. There are a lot of computers and machines in the room and the lights are really bright. Amy tells me that this equipment is to keep me safe during my operation. Chris and Mick help me to slide across onto the theatre trolley. Cosmo tells me that he will stay with me during my operation. It is his job to make sure I am okay in my special sleep and that I don't feel anything. He tells me he will take good care of me. I'm going to have the medicine into a small tube in my hand, which I call a cannula. Cosmo puts the cannula in using a little needle. I don't feel it much because of the cream. Cosmo leaves the little tube in my hand, which is stuck down with a clear plaster. Chris puts some ECG dots on my chest. They are cold, but they don't hurt. He puts a blood pressure cuff on my arm and the little red light on my finger. I can see the screen where they watch my heart rate, my saturations and blood pressure. This is pretty cool. Cos reminds me that my dad can stay with me until, until I'm in my special sleep and then Amy will look after him while I have my operation. When I wake up, he will be with me again. Cosmo gives the cannula a flush with some salty water and tells me and my dad that it is time for my special sleep. Cosmo asks me to count from one while he is putting the special sleep medicines in, into my hand. I only remember getting to four. The next thing I know I am waking up after my operation. My dad is right by my side again. My dad tells me my operation is all done and that it went well. He tells me he is really proud of me and that I did a good job. I feel proud of myself too.